ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Time for the Friday Fail Star. Yeah. All right. Well, as people thought they had the perfect plan, the plan that could never go wrong, but somewhere along the line, it went from being a great idea to one big stinking mega uber ultra. Care what you say? I thought it was pretty good. That was right. nice. All right. Okay. I'm not even right. no, I'm not even right. Ravi. I was, I was, right. was going to say I brought us down a little. You did? Oh, I, I, did. No, I didn't no. maintain. Never. No. Never. <laughs> girl. No way. Never. Girl. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Damn, girl. <laughs> All right. Starting with uh, this story, uh, this Mexican cartel gunman. Uh, he was protecting one of their own in the hospital when this armed guy. Enters the clinic. Dun, dun, dun. The movie. Oh, damn. So the gunman opened fire. Four dead bodies later, they discovered their mistake. The man entering the hospital was their boss. Oh, <laughs> no. Coming to pay the medical bills of the laid-up foot soldier. So now he's dead. A doctor is dead. Two others are dead. One of the guards shot himself rather than face the music, but of course he failed at that, too. Oh, no. Oh, that was good. What a bad day at work. No yeah. victims here. Fail. That's not true. The doctor. The doctor. Yeah. The doctor. Yeah. But the rest of them were like cartel. Dude, guys, cartels are not good. Oh, really? Mm. Yeah. I, I, I'm, That's I, a hot take, see that? Yeah. What? Right. Wow. Hot take. Yeah. Bad stuff. Organ, uh, organizers of the State Fair of Texas, they were getting called out on social media thanks to a sign at one of the entrances that read, quote, Howdy, folks. We're glad you're here. Y O U R here. <laughs> Your favorite. Yeah. Obviously, the situation calls for a Y O U apostrophe R E. Uh, embarrassed, they posted a video on social media of Big Tex. That's the Ferris mm-hmm, mascot mm-hmm. fixing the sign with a drill. And the caption reads This is what happens when we let little Big Tex proofread. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get it. Oh, oh, love it. But we're so glad you are here. Nice. <laughs> Man, the Menace Sign Company has been very busy so lately. So busy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, failed. They painted that um, uh-huh. water tower. Yep, yep, yep. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Love to go to the fair. Uh, here's one from Australia. How's, How's the, the pie? Pie? How's pie? Where this guy is uh, finally getting sentenced. And this story started way back in December of last year. He was um, wanting to spend New Year's Eve with his hooker mistress instead of his All girlfriend. Right. Well, it's New Year's. But he needed a good excuse for why he wasn't there. So naturally, he decided to fake his own kidnapping. He left home, told the girlfriend he was going out to meet his financial guy, okay. you know, on New Year's uh, Eve. Yeah, Sorry. yeah, as most <laughs> yeah. do. Mm-hmm. But then a few hours later, she got a text claiming that he had been kidnapped. Oh, She dude. was told that he was being held hostage over a $7,000 dirt bike. So, of course, she calls the cops, who then spent more than 200 hours and thousands and thousands and thousands of taxpayer dollars searching for this guy. But the story eventually fell apart when the police, they found security footage showing he had been with the hooker the same night that he was quote-unquote kidnapped. He eventually uh, copped to the hoax. He was arrested, and like I said, he finally got his day in court. The judge ordered him to do 350 hours of community service. That's it. That's it. And, and in case you're wondering, back. his girlfriend did break up with him. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, but, but it was a memorable name. Fail. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah. He got a great story. Yeah. yeah. In Florida, there's a 40-year-old guy in the news who uh, got himself arrested for being a hothead. He was uh, apparently some kind of uh, road rage incident. He was involved with some teenagers, and he uh, chased down these teenagers in his truck, forced them to turn down a dead-end street, and then confronted them with a gun. Nice. Good. That's when he noticed one of the kids was his neighbor from across the street. Uh, yeah. yeah. And he's like, oh, quote, my bad, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and then just went back to his truck and drove away. The cops were called. He was arrested, taken to fail jail, not just for aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, for also trying to fight the cops when they showed up to arrest him. Oh, no. Mm. Anger management. Yes. Indeed. Some of the kid's parents are uh, pressing charges, too. <laughs> Idiot. My Say bad, it. bro. My bad, bro. My bad, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Dumbass. Don't tell your parents. Yeah. Yeah. Keep this between us. Here's one from uh, Tampa, Florida. 33-year-old guy in the news named Eric Thomas. He called the cops to report that a customer had stolen 10 bucks from him. Thing is, Eric is a drug dealer. I mean, weed, but still, only medical is allowed there, and that uh, wasn't that. Anyway, the officers arrive. Eric walks up to them holding 11 small bags of pot. So he's arrested. Now, during questioning, he told them that he was selling weed to some dude, and the guy ran off with 10 bucks. And so they're processing him, 
They searched him, and they found two small bags of cocaine. Oh, oh no. So he's what? facing charges for that, too. Dumbass. <laughs> hmm. yeah. Some other fun facts about Eric. Not even the dumbest thing that he's done recently. Last month, he showed up to court on a separate charge, ended up getting arrested for bringing drugs into the courthouse, and uh, he was emptying out his pockets to go through the you know the metal detector. Right? Yeah. And there was like seven Ziploc bags of drugs. Oh, no. <laughs> that he brought to the courthouse. Oh, that's good, yeah. Hey. yeah. Failed. <laughs> Idiot. $10 is why he called the cops. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Consider it a loss. It's the principle, Greg. Right. You support this. Risk reward. All right. Uh, and finally, my favorite fail story of the week, this 62-year-old grandfather in Nebraska. He was arrested after he ended up accidentally shooting his own grandson during a wedding that he was officiating. Oh, my God. Here's a clip from the press conference. A spokesman for the county sheriff's office has all the details here for us. A gentleman who was officiating the wedding decided to gain everybody's attention and start the wedding with a bang that he was going to shoot a... Uh, PETA, P-I-E-T-T-A, model 1860 snub nose revolver into the air with a blank to gain everybody's attention so that they could come up to the wedding. Well, when he decided to cock back the hammer of this revolver, it slipped and it shot his grandson in the left shoulder, causing an injury. Yeah. I would think so. <laughs> so the uh, boy's injury is non-life-threatening. That's good. Uh, more info on the grandfather. turns out his name is Michael Gardner. He's from Texas, where he's a county commissioner. So, okay. Yeah, he's uh, getting a little grief there. He's also Fail. running for re-election. So. Mm. Good way to <laughs> get people's support. attention. Yep. It works at the yeah. Wild West. It's marketing. Come yeah. on. Hey, man. It's starting. When's <laughs> about to start? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, come on, y'all. <laughs> Yeah, don't just don't just yell it out. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Get a gun. You shoot yes. it. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You'd be cool. You'd be cool about it. I mean, that's how you handle things. Oh, you don't God. ask for their attention. You so shoot right. for it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, those are your Friday fail stories. Square.